Hello everyone, um, this is the exact continuation of the tutorial I did on making this uh, cool wave scene here. Um, now I realize now, this has been a week and a half, two weeks later, and I have a lot of the stuff figured out uh, for the making this render, because making this look good in an, uh, a render image is way different than making it look good here. And so what I want to do is just, just show you one thing here. When I save this file to you, I had already generated this um, this Olympic cache. Okay, remember I exported all to Olympic or selection to Olympic. And what um, what it didn't dawn on me is that you guys wouldn't have these cache files, obviously. So I don't exactly know what Maya did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposely delete the cache file and see what it does. Because right now you will see, and in, 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 in the reason why it didn't turn blue right away, remember I was a little confused at the end. I believe might have been because I had the Bifrost options enable background processing on. That might have been why I was why I'd done it, why it was like that. So if I had turned this off, um, I probably would have gotten this um, blue right at the end of that. But instead, it was still trying to enable background processing. I, I think that's what happened. Um, so anyway, I'm going to close that. And what I want to do is get rid of this on this file. Now again, you didn't probably have these saved out as an Olympic cache, but I just want to show you where that shows up. So if you go to the liquid here and then you go over to the liquid properties container, okay, it'll show, oops, it'll show down here, liquid cache and solid cache. And then if you go to the foam under this thing, it'll show you the foam cache. So when I actually look at the folder there, here's the Bifrost cache folder. Um, here it is. So it's got, I got solids, the voxel liquid, and then the foam. So here, is obviously the liquid, liquid, the box of liquid, the solid cache, and then the foam is found, let me just close that for a second, here and that container and the foam cache there. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to just pause this. I'm gonna delete this entire cache directory that's there and then reload the same file that you started out with and I'm just curious to see what happened. And that's just this little interim here that um, uh, before I get into actually showing you how to render this stuff. So I'm trying to keep consistent here so you so we're all on the same page we're all starting with the exact same file and and, and go from there so anyway I'm going to turn these off just real quick so I'm going to turn off the foam cache I'm going to go to the liquid I'm going to turn off the two caches there as well okay and so now if I rewind you'll see the whole um, Olympic cache thing has disappeared and my uh, water will fill in here at frame zero and now we're back in the regular mode of um, being able to simulate the liquid. Okay, so that is that. And let me just pause the film and I'm gonna, well, let me just go over here and delete the directory. The heck, you might as well see this whole thing. So here's the container and uh, let's just delete it. So right click, delete. It doesn't have enough foam particles for me anyway, so I have to redo it if I want a cache anyway. So okay, so now it doesn't have it. So now let me just reload this file that I sent to you open scene and we'll just go down here and this, this is the same file that I put on the on my website and I'm just kind of curious to see if it what it does if anything great this is exactly what I was hoping you guys should have gotten a file that would have done the same thing even though I left it saved with those boxes checked let's see if they're checked and they are checked <laughs> but it can't find the file so if, anybody, if that confused anybody, I apologize. I, let me see if I rewind here, if these go unchecked automatically. Let me just hit the rewind button. Okay, so it's not recalculating the fluid, and that's interesting. So I might have messed some of you up by doing that. I apologize. So let me uh, just uncheck the liquid solid cache. Go over to the foam. See now, yeah, now Bifrost is calculating here. Um, go over to the foam, uncheck that. Um, so what I might do is resave this file, um, but not have those check boxes checked. So now let's see if it, uh, if it actually comes up with a new set of liquid here. There we go. So I apologize for that. That must have been a source of confusion for a whole bunch of people. But now you know um, what's going on there. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make this little addendum video for this just to attach to the other one. 
before I get, and then I'll make another video showing the materials. So this will just be a little um, add on to the end of the other video showing you that problem. And uh, that should be it. So thank you.